Okay, we're now in lesson 2-4, which is dividing fractions and mixed numbers. And in order to be able to divide fractions and mixed numbers, we need to know about multiplicative inverse or reciprocal. Multiplicative inverse or reciprocal. They both mean the same thing. What is that? Well, multiplicative inverse or reciprocal is what you can multiply a number by so that the answer is always 1. And so how does that work? Well, what we do is write the number as a fraction and then flip the number and multiply it by its flipped version. And the answer is always 1. Let's take a look at a few examples. Here's 1 third. What is the reciprocal of 1 third? Well, we flip it and we get 3 over 1. Now, when we multiply them together, 1 times 3 equals 3, and 3 times 1 equals 3. And any fraction where the top number and the bottom number are the same equals 1. So 3 over 3 equals 1. Let's take a look at another one. Let's take a look at 7 eighths. Well, what's the reciprocal of 7 eighths? 8 over 7. Once again, if we multiply them together, 7 times 8 equals 56. 8 times 7 equals 56, and 56 over 56 equals 1, right? Well, how about whole numbers or mixed numbers? Do they work the same? Well, let's take a look here at the whole number 5. How do we turn a whole number into a fraction, first of all? We put it over 1, correct? So 5 equals 5 over 1. Now, what's the reciprocal of 5 over 1? 1 over 5. Now, if we use cross-simplification, where well, we learned in the last lesson, what do we do? Well, 5 and 5 can both be divided by each other, right? So this cancels out making 1, and this cancels out making 1. So what do we end up with? 1 over 1 times 1 over 1, which equals 1, okay? Finally, with a mixed number. What did we learn in the last lesson? You cannot multiply or divide a mixed number. You must fir first convert them into improper fractions. So. 2 times 4 is 8, plus 3 is 11. So 2 and 3 fourths becomes 11 over 4. And what's the reciprocal of that? 4 over 11. Once again, you could cross simplify or you could just multiply it straight out. 11 times 4 is 44, and 4 times 11 is 44 which equals 1. So you see what the multiplicative inverse is, what the reciprocal is, is a way that you can multiply a number by its flip and you always get the answer 1. This is very valuable because we're going to be using this to divide fractions and mixed numbers. Okay, so now let's take a look at how we actually use the multiplicative inverse or reciprocal to divide fractions. Take a look at this division problem here. 34 divided by 2 thirds. Well, we can't really divide by fractions. So what we do is we use the reciprocal. What we always do when dividing by fractions is we take the reciprocal of the second number. It has to be the second number, okay? We take the reciprocal of the number behind the division sign. That means we flip it over and then we multiply. So first let's go ahead and find the reciprocal of 2 thirds. The reciprocal of 2 thirds is 3 over 2. And we copy down the other fraction, 3 fourths. But now that we've gotten the reciprocal, we're not going to divide. We're going to multiply. Okay? Now, if we want, we can cross simplify if there was anything to cross simplify here. Is there anything to cross simplify here? No. 2 and 3 don't match. 3 and 4 don't match. So we just straight up multiply. Okay? 3 times 3 is 9. And 4 times 2 is? Eight. Now what do we do with that? Well, that's an improper fraction, right? So we're going to need to convert into a mixed number. So we divide. How many times does 8 go into 9? One time. That's my whole number, right? Now what is 9 divided by, I mean, what is 8 times 1? 8 and 9 minus 8 is 1. So the remainder becomes the top of our new fraction and the denominator stays the same, which is 8. So 9 eighths becomes 1 and 1 eighth. Okay? 
So now let's take a look at this problem here. Negative 5 eighths divided by 10 elevenths. Okay? Remember, this is a negative and this is a positive. We have to pay attention to our integer rules. So a negative divided by a positive equals what? Negative. We know our answer is going to be negative because in multiplying and dividing of integers, different sign always equals negative. Okay, but first, we're going to have to find the reciprocal of our second fraction, the fraction that comes after the division symbol. So 10 over 11 is going to become what? 11 over 10. Let's rewrite our problem. Negative 5 over 8 times 11 over 10. Okay? Negative 5 over 8 times 11 over 10. Can we do any cross simplifying here? Yes, we can. 5 and 10 can both be divided by 5. This becomes a 1 and this becomes a 2. When you are dividing fractions, you can only cross simplify after you have gotten the reciprocal. You cannot cross simplify before. Okay? You can only cross simplify after you have gotten the reciprocal, when you're in the multiplication part of the process. Now I've cross simplified. I have 1 times 11 equals 11, and 8 times 2 equals 16, and it's a negative times a positive, so my answer is negative 11 sixteenths. Okay, now let's talk about dividing a fraction by a whole number. So what if some whole numbers are in the mix? Let's take a look. This problem says negative 7 over 10 divided by 6. Well, what's the first thing we have to do? Write our whole number as a fraction. How do you write a whole number as a fraction? You put it over 1. So all I have to do to turn 6 into a fraction is make it 6 over 1. Now I'm ready to divide. What's the next step? We need to find the reciprocal of the second fraction. So which fraction are we going to flip? 6 over 1 is going to become 1 over 6. And we rewrite the whole problem. Don't try to do it in the problem. Rewrite the whole problem. So negative 7 over 10 times positive 1 over 6. Okay? Negative 7 over 10 times positive 1 over 6. Can I do any cross simplifying here? No, I can't. So just top times top bottom times bottom. And remember, I have a negative and a positive. Okay? So my answer is going to be negative. So this is going to equal negative something. Well, what's 7 times 1? 7 over 10 times 6? 60. Can I simplify this fraction any further? No, because 7 is a prime number and it is not a factor of 60. So 7 over 60 is already in simplest form. So my answer is negative 7 over 60. Okay, so now let's take a look at dividing with mixed numbers. Remember what, from the last lesson that when you are multiplying or dividing mixed numbers, you must first convert them into improper fractions. So let's take a look at this problem here. Negative 6 and 3 fourths divided by negative 1 and 1 eighth. We need to convert these first into improper fractions. So let's do that. 6 times 4 is 24 plus 3 is 27. So this becomes negative 27 over 4 divided by 1 times 8 is 8 plus 1 is 9. Negative 9 over 8. Okay? So now it's negative 27 divided by negative 9 over 8. Well, what's our next step? We have to get the reciprocal of the second fraction. So 9 over 8 is going to become 8 over 9. And our new problem is negative 27 over 4 times negative 8 over 9. Okay? Now that we have done the reciprocal, we can check and see if we can do any cross simplifying. Remember that you cannot cross simplify until after you have done the reciprocal. Is there anything here that matches? Well, I see 4 and 8 can both be divided by 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1, and 8 divided by 4 is 2. Okay? How about 9 and 27? They can both be divided by 9. 9 divided by 9 is 1, and 27 divided by 9 is 3. So now I have a much simpler set of numbers to work with. And remember, these are both negatives. So our answer is going to be positive. 3 times 2 is 
6, and 1 times 1 is 1. And 6 over 1 equals 6. That's our answer.